Hello and welcome to another Directed Draw. Today we are going to learn how to draw a hamburger. So let's get started. Alright, so to draw a hamburger, what we're going to do is I'm going to have mine, you can do it wide like a wall or you can do it tall like a building, landscape, vertical, whichever, whatever you feel like doing because it will work with both. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the bun. And I'm going to start over here on this side, and I'm going to do an upside down U, like this. Then I'm going to come to either side of the ends, and I'm going to close it with a curve. So this is the top bun. We're going to go from top to bottom. So the next part is going to be, let's do lettuce. So I'm going to start right here, I'm going to go out, and then I'm going to do some squiggly lines all the way across, like this, okay? So there's your lettuce. If you want to make it look like it's 3D, what you can do is at every single top part like this, it's going to have a line. And if you've done the ballerina video, um, direct a draw, we do that for her tutu. So it's the same kind of concept. So I'll do it with this one. I'm going to go a line diagonally like this. And you can do a shorter line on the other side. Line here and a line here. And you can kind of play with the lengths. Make sure you keep the lines kind of curved. They don't have to be, but they can. So it looks like that. If you don't like the lines, you don't have to add them. All right, so the next part, I'm going to put in some tomatoes. And to do that, I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to do a curved line like this, and another curved line on the other side, about the same. And I'm just going to close that with... A curve and all you have to do is color this part red this can also be some onions and you can do like a light yellow and that is your choice oh I forgot to add something on the bun you want some sesame seeds so you're going to draw some teardrop shapes like this and you can put them wherever you want, or if you don't want to do teardrop shapes, you can always do some circles, and that's okay. So let's do some circles. You can add as many or as little as you want, and make sure they're kind of spread apart on top, okay? So I think that's good. Okay, now going back. Next thing we need is the meat. Or, let's do the cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Can't have a hamburger without some cheese. So, I am going to start back here behind the tomato. And I'm going to do a curved line down like this. And then back up, kind of towards the middle. It's going to go like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and go back, but it's going to overlap. So that's two pieces of, or two slices of cheese. And now I'm going to do my burger. So it's the meat. So I'm going to start at the same length or the same um, place as the tomato. And I'm just going to do some squiggly lines like this. Squiggly lines on the bottom all the way to the other side and like that. So that's going to be my burger part. Might be a little bit too wide. If that's the case, you can shrink it, make it shorter. So you got to have to make this line a little bit shorter. And you can do maybe about that much, if that's what you prefer. Um, I'm just going to leave it for now. And then next we'll put some what else shall we put? 
we'll put some onions. So to do onions, I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to do some circles like this. Another half circle shape. And maybe one coming out here. And then I'm just going to do some lines like this. And that'll show that this, these are onions. Okay. Now if you want pickles, you can add pickles. And those are just going to be kind of like rounded little shapes like this. And to make them look 3D, you can do that. And they have little teardrop shapes, kind of. And you can just do them here and there. If you don't like pickles, you don't have to add them. But they're kind of like wiggly, squiggly lines. Like that. I don't know why I spread them apart like that, but that's what it is. And now it's for the bottom. Now for the bottom, I'm going to start maybe about right here on this pickle. And I'm going to curve it in a little bit. On this side, I'm going to go out a little bit. And then curve it down. And then I'm going to close it with a curve like that. Again, it might be a little big, so let's change that a little bit. So to change the thickness, all you have to do is change that bottom line, or the side lines. And you got to close it with a curve. So it kind of looks like this. I'm going to do a curved shape, or a curved line right here just to show. That's the bottom. And here you can do your sauces. So I just do some squiggly lines like that. And you can color those in a different color. Now for the meat, the other thing you can do is you can add some more squiggly lines on it to show you that that is the meat. You don't have to. And there is your hamburger. It looks delicious. So let me go ahead and color this. So for the hamburger bun, I think I would use like a light brown, maybe. So I'm going to go ahead and get my crayon and color the top brown. You can do a tan color or you can do like a brown color up to you. Just remember that this color is going to be on the top and the bottom. And try to stay inside the lines. I'm not doing a very good job right now. Okay. Go on the bottom now. And remember, don't rush, because if you rush, you can make mistakes. All right, and this inside part is kind of brown, too, right here. All right, so we have that. I'm going to clean up my edges a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to do the lettuce. It's going to be a green color. I think that may be too green. Let's do like an iceberg lettuce. I'm 
drawing this is making me hungry. I'll do a french fry video in another um, video. <laughs> How to draw french fries. So for this line right here that we made, I like to go back and do, color it in a little bit darker, just so it shows a little dimension. You don't have to if you don't want to. Something like that. Okay, and then the next one was a tomato, and tomatoes are red. Next is the cheese. I'm going to use like a golden yellowish color. Color it in nicely. Now it's starting to look like a real burger. Now is it a Krabby Patty? Is it a McDonald's burger? Is it in and out? I don't know. You guys can choose to do whatever kind of burger you like. You can even name it if you want. All right, so there's the cheese. Now for the burger part, it's going to be kind of like a dark, oh, that's not brown. Um, it's going to be a dark brown color. It still doesn't look brown to me. Okay. And just go ahead and color it in. This is like a quarter pounder, if maybe even more. <laughs> I think I drew too much meat on this. But hey, if you want to draw a quarter pounder, this is how you would do it. All right, so there's that. Now for my onions. I'm going to make it red onions. And red onions are sweeter, so I like that better. To do that, I'm going to do the outside of it a little purple. They're called red onions, but they're more purple in color. And then the insides can be white. Or if you prefer yellow onions, they're going to be a little yellow. It's going to be like a light yellow color. All right. 
right, so there's that. And I might just do a little pink-ish on the insides. Sometimes they do have like a little pink tone on the inside. All right, next is the pickles. So pickles are green. Do the outside green and the inside is gonna be a little bit lighter green. So there we have our pickles. Now for our sauce, you can have like ketchup or like the secret sauce. Um, let's see, like the in and out sauce color, maybe. That's very close to my bun. We could do ketchup. And the last thing I'm going to color is the sesame seeds. They're on top. And these are going to be a little lighter. And there you have it. This is a hamburger. So I hope you guys enjoyed drawing a hamburger with me. Um, I hope you guys stay safe as always. Wash your hands, have fun, and I will see you next time.